So tonight we're doing points on planes, and this is kind of the last half of that chapter four. <clears throat> the first part was auxiliary views. The second half was, or it was planes, but kind of talked about auxiliary views a little bit. <clears throat> and then, so what this is is that if you have a plane, a plane, things of this plane are always going to be in the same relationship, kind of, right? So that means that if I had a line going across the plane, and that line is actually on the plane, so if I had a line here, that point where it crossed this line is always the same, right? No matter which way I look at it, that's always the same point. <clears throat> so can I find that point down here? How? Just project it straight down, right? to that line, right? So that's where that point is, right? So that intersection right there is now there. Now how do I know which way that line is pointing? Are there any other points I can get? Where? That? Okay. If I draw a line down from there, where do I make it stop? First, can you offset? No, because I have to offset two views back, right? That's only one view back, so I can't offset that. So I don't know where it is on that, right? I know it's on that line somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. So how can I find out where that is? I don't have another view. Can you use nearest? Got to have the same. I could do that. I could do this one. But let's do this. Let's do it here. We can do it with just two views. Can you do it going down to the nearest point? No, because it's not, we don't know where it crosses that line or where it crosses that line. Can we find out where it crosses either of those lines? Can I find out where this line crosses those two lines? Either of those two lines? Uh, you project yeah, right? I can just click there, bring it straight out, and down to <coughs> that one, right? Now I can connect those. Now I can come from there, there. There's my line now. I just <clears throat> extended that, so now I had two points, and so that two points gave me my line, and then I could just trim off the point that I needed. Does that make sense? Yeah, can you do it Right there. Do I have that? <clears throat> so I just drew a line here. To the touch. And when you're doing that, you have to say extension. Look how. When I, when I start that line, I click there and I start it, and I just leave it there for a second. Now when I move it out, look what's on that corner. I've got the little my little tracking plus, uh -huh. and it tells me extension. That means I'm pulling it out straight with, which is different than that, right? That line is not parallel to it. That's actually that angle. So I want to make sure that I'm there on extension. Also, if you just do it quick, actually, if you do it quick, it'll choke it up. But if you go back over it, it'll go away. You won't be able to get to go to it. Just go back over it, get the plus back, go back up to extension. Come down, come down to where it meets that same, same line, and then connect. Now I've got where that line is, and then I just need to, to go from the end point and the other end point to move it over. Okay. Questions? Oh, okay, you want to come both end points down? Yeah. Now I can erase those two, right? You get the real length of it. You erase that, and draw a line from there down, from there. 
do the extension to pull it there, extension to pull it back to there. So that's where that line would be on that YouTube. Okay. Questions? So then you do it all the side view, like we like have been before, right? Draw the side view, get extra practice. Practice doesn't hurt. Now I've got just a point on the plane. I know that point is on the plane, but I don't know where it is down here. So how am I going to find it? Yeah. Can you just basically do the same thing? Extend a yeah. Two of your points? Yeah, do the same thing. So I'm going to draw a line from here down. And then, but I don't have another line that's hitting it, so I just pick one, right? So I'm just going to draw a line from here to there, and then extend it to there. And I can draw a line from that to that, back to that corner. And now there is my point, right? Because I know it's on that line. If it's on the line here. It has to be on that line there. That gives me the horizontal position to it. My point's right there. <clears throat> and you might as well leave your construction there just to, on these. Uh, especially if you're, if you're not you know, figure it out. Leave your construction so I can see how you're, you're working it. The next one, the same thing, you can do a side view. Here, same thing. I want to fill in the rest of the plane. What am I going to do? What? Extend the line up. Yeah, extend my lines up. Actually, I only need to do one of them, right? That one. Because could I do this one? That, no, I don't know that point, so. Might as well do this point, so I can draw a line from there back. And that comes down to there, back to there. Okay, so that's that line. And now I can do this line, right? I just did it. Same thing. Just finding those two points, then I can draw that line and find out where it ends. So that's this week. That, those three types of things. So you got two examples of each, except for the last one, you've only got one. So you redo mine and then do these ones. <clears throat> Next week we'll take this a step further and go into 3D and actually find points on planes by point over where you know it's from the side or from the back or from the top coming down. Go do that next week. <clears throat> okay? So this week is this. Um, so questions? This is the law before the storm. Storm all the time.